At that point, I knew that I was done playing soccer. Rachel Rapino was a standout soccer player at the University of Portland before two ACL injuries in just two years sidelined her for good. I, I took a, a red shirt in 07 to come back in 08 and play one final season. So, you know, that was, uh, that was definitely very hard because obviously the immediate thought that I had was, well, why did I even come back if this was going to happen? Rachel's story is like thousands of other women athletes who are part of a growing injury trend in sports. Doctors and trainers say women are simply at a physical disadvantage every time they enter a game. How much of a disadvantage? Well, a study done by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons estimates that one in every 100 high school female athletes are at risk of injuring an ACL. And in college, that number skyrockets to one in 10. If you look around at the schools, in the Northern California region, Reading specifically, you can probably find one of the players every year that have torn their ACL. Um, and sometimes it could be the same person that tore it a year before. Recent studies are now saying these non-contact injuries can be prevented. And it may be as easy as adding an extra 15 to 20 minutes of exercises designed to strengthen leg muscles by reinforcing proper jumping and landing techniques. I think once you start to implement the programs to strengthen the, the muscle mass, to uh, work on how to land, how to jump, how to run, how to cut, those things will not only improve your performance, they'll also decrease the likelihood of the tears. The only problem, there isn't a widespread use of these programs in local high schools. So what does it take for one of these jump programs to get off the ground? Dr. Paul says it's up to team trainers as much as the coaches. I think that they can actually instruct the athletes as well as the coaches so that um, the coaches themselves can implement these programs and maybe carry on that program throughout the year. If the studies out there are saying that it is preventing, then I think it's important to take the, the 15, 20 minutes out of practice, you know, to, to do these stretches or do these warm-ups just to make sure. Reporting in Reading, Nick Emmons, KRCR News Channel 7.